If I've had to answer so many questions, like how is Bunting like as a guy? Cause he's kind of a rat to play against. Big Mike is a guy you probably not a lot of people like in this league. He's in a chirping battle at least five times a game. He's got that dog in him. Born and raised in Scarborough. He's not afraid to tell us about it. He never quit. He's made the best of his situation no matter where he's been. I feel like I've had to kind of explain Michael Bunting to a lot of my buddies kind of around the league and uh, let him know that, you know, he's not a bad guy. He's a different person on the ice than he is off the ice. Hey, I'm Michael Bunting, and I'm going to take you on a tour of my Scarborough. A, marker camera, down. I basically was like around all this area on my bike 24 seven with me and my buddies. My elementary school, Tata's right there, best beef patties. One of the stops is gonna be Scarborough Gardens, my favorite rink in the city. And that was basically the rink I grew up playing in. Michael, where are we now? We are at the famous Scarborough Gardens. Scarborough uh, Gardens. This is uh, kind of where it all started for me. We're playing EastEnders and uh, Scarborough Young Bruins. This is the home rink for them. So I think I started EastEnders when I was in grade four to eight, and then grade nine to 11 was Scarborough Young Bruins. Skating around there thinking, one day <laughs> I'm going to wear that Maple Leaf. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, always, always dreaming as a kid and uh, believing that I could make it. And now here we are. Buttig takes it, and he's home free. Michael Buttig's in, scores! Michael Buttig for Toronto. Well, it was quite a journey though. Not exactly a straight line, but anything worth having, you have to work for, and you, you are an example of that. As a kid though, the Leafs were your team? Yeah, growing up in Toronto and Scarborough area, all my friends and my family's basically bled blue. So the uh, Toronto Maple Leaf fan base was strong in my household. Okay, so Michael, where are we going right now? We're gonna head out to uh, my high school, kind of where I played a whole bunch of sports, tennis, volleyball, a little bit of soccer, um, badminton, and uh, we had a good hockey team as well when I was there. So was being so busy playing a lot of sports a good way to keep you out of trouble? <laughs> <laughs> my mom might say that. She was a big volleyball player growing up, and I always joke around, uh, actually with my dad and say, thank God I got mom's side. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been here in like seven, eight years probably. Hey, hey, hey. And oddly doing? enough. How you doing? Look what I'm wearing. Oh, oh yeah, I know, right? right? It's like you knew, it's like you knew we were like coming. you knew you were coming. What year did I graduate? Oh, I think I'm here. Oh, there I am. Oh my gosh, look at that. What's up, buddy? How you doing? What, uh, what grade are you in? I'm in grade nine. Grade nine. How are you liking high school? It's good. Yeah? It was a good school. So what kind of a student were you? I thought I, I was pretty good. That was the only way I could play the sports is if our, our grades were good. There we go. Oh, look at that. It's a good style there with the Seven. orange and the white tie. 2013 Senior Boys Athlete of the Year. This is pretty cool to bring back yeah, all the some memories. nostalgic uh, memories it. here for sure. I'm trying to look for some banners. What's going on, guys? Who's the best? You are? Yeah, I can tell. I can tell you're dominant. Yeah. Good seeing you. Thank you for this. Thank you. When did your focus become a bit more on, okay, I'm, you know, time to get serious here. If I'm going to have a career in hockey, I've got to focus in. To be honest, it was pretty late. Um, it was around grade 12. Um, all the way up, I played uh, in double A hockey until, until grade 12. I made triple A, and that was my first step of triple A, and that kind of is where everything started. Hockey, though, is an expensive sport. It's not easy for a lot of families. What was it like for you? I made the team, and they showed me how much it would be, and I, I walked out of the, the back room. I said, sorry, I'm not playing. I'm not going to make my... Uh, you just felt you couldn't afford it. No, I just didn't want to make my family pay for that. I just said, that's not, uh, that's not in our cards, and my mom and I talked about it, and thought to myself, it's either now or never. And you know what, I give Don Mills organization a lot of credit. They helped us out and they were able to help me out and help me play on the team and, and the rest was history. Just think about like how your path would have been so different if you couldn't have found a way to be on that team. Yeah, absolutely. That kind of is where everything started. Really OHL was never one of my goals. It was definitely like something I wanted to get to, but it was never in my mind back then. Back then, but when I played my first year of AAA, I started getting interest from the trip, um, the OHL teams. And Greyhounds were one of the most the teams that was most interested in me, and they told me that they were going to take me on the draft day. So Sault Ste. Marie Greyhounds, you spend what two seasons there, and your GM is 
Kyle Dubas, right? Yes. Your coach. Sheldon Keyes. Sheldon Keyes. <laughs> this is kind of crazy. <laughs> what were those two years for you, like in, in the Sioux? I credit the Sioux to my success um, greatly. I had to move away from home for the first time, and I think that made me uh, more mature and actually a better player as well. In the wing, McCann cutting in feeds. One thing he scores! Wow! Can you believe that play? So from there, um, NHL draft day for you would have been 2014. You end up going to the Arizona Coyotes. What is that moment like when you actually hear an NHL team call you your name? It's funny. I. I actually kind of blacked out. Um, I remember hearing my name and I remember standing up and I kind of even forgot who called me because I just was, I was all over the place. And then by the time I hugged everybody and I started walking down, I realized, okay, this is this is real. I was sitting there getting a little antsy and getting a little nervous. But then once I once I heard my name, every, the stress definitely went off my, my shoulders. And I was so privileged definitely to be uh, picked by Arizona and a great organization. I just can't wait to get it started. So you're thinking, great, I've made the NHL. Not so fast, yeah, though. Not quite. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You spent the better part of, what, six seasons in the American Hockey League. I played uh, many years in the American League and I think over yeah, 330 American League games. So um, I was down there for a while and a lot of guys that play that long end up getting another opportunity to the NHL. So, um, but I wouldn't change that for anything. Peterson pulling the trigger, Bunting out front, they score! Roadrunners win, 4-3! Michael Bunting with the GWG, 32 seconds into the fourth period. I learned a lot down there as well with adversity and whatnot, so um, it definitely has made me the player I am and the person I am. But um, I got that opportunity with the Coyotes during that kind of COVID year, and. I kind of knew that this would be my shot, and I was fortunate enough that I kind of got hot and made a name for myself. Garland throws it out high, a shot, they score! Chikrin takes a shot, it's in front, bouncing puck, they score! And it's Michael Bunting again. Chikrin looks, shoots, stop, rebound in front, they score! And that's a hat trick for Michael Bunting. After that season, I became a UFA, and. I was uh, definitely a little nervous and I didn't know how that whole situation would unfold and how that would happen. We got a call from multiple teams, but once the Leafs kind of called, I, I, it was... It was obvious what it was you were obvious. going to do, right? Yeah, it was obvious. Um, just more, um, you know, the relationships I had in the past with Kyle and Sheldon, I, I knew that they, they knew who I was and knew the player I, I am. They just said, basically, come in and, and play your game and, and see where you end up. And that's what I kind of did. It's a two-on-one, Kerfoot. And Bunting, and Mente got back. Bunting scores! It is first Maple Leaf goal! And nothing but smiles going to the bench on that one. That mom Linda smiling too. He had a lot of family and friends here for his debut in a Leaf uniform. As exciting as it is for you being a Maple Leaf, I can just imagine what it's been like for your family. Yeah, that's um, one thing that I've, I've realized is pretty special. I grew up with my grandfather in my house. Um, and he's 95 and um, he loves hockey, loves the Leafs and um, he is definitely my biggest fan. So um, it's pretty special putting on that jersey every night. And Matthews comes away with the puck in front, scores! Michael Bunting, game tired! So Austin Matthews, when we asked him about you, he said, yep, he's a rat to play against. <laughs> That's for sure when he's out there. I mean, that has to be a compliment to you. Yeah, absolutely. Obviously, um, I kind of play on that edge and I kind of play in the other team's face most of the nights. And I feel like when I'm playing that way, that's when I'm playing my best. And if I play with a chip on my shoulder and get those guys a puck, uh, I'm pretty successful with that. He makes a lot of great plays for our team. He does a lot of great things for our team to help us win games. And, you know, he's always a guy that probably gets a short end of the stick just with getting maybe chirped or just not uh, enough credit for what he does. Michael Bunting starts back, fighting off the check of Molkin, swinging wide, and then Bunting falls down, centers in front, Matthews scores! Terrific play by Michael Bunting. I think he's somebody who's really proud of where he comes from and uh, takes a lot of pride in, in his hometown and being from Scarborough. And I find he's always kind of finding ways to, to kind of give back and just kind of be uh, a voice in his community and be a good role model for kids. Once I started playing for Toronto, I was like, okay, I'm playing for my hometown. I remember being a kid and looking up to the, the Leafs and looking up to players and, and whatnot. So I was thinking like, what can I do to give back? And it was kind of funny. I, uh, 
I scored a hat trick in Detroit last year and the league um, gives you a thousand dollars to give to a charity of your choice and then I was thinking like somewhere in Scarborough and then I, I thought of the Boys and Girls Club and then so I sent it to them and then our relationship kind of just built from there. <laughs> What's going on? Are we playing some bump? Oh, can I join? Say hi, everybody. <laughs> Who am I going to go behind? Uh, you, me? I, I'm, oh, I'm going to get you out then. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. To see someone uh, who comes from where you come from, um, you know, that has made it and has, you know, made a name for themselves going back and giving back to the community. I know I can say, you know, those kids, you know, they have a great role model to look for into Bunts and um, it's an unbelievable story. You want me to sign in the Siakam jersey? Are you sure? All right. As much as I can, I want to represent where I'm from. I hear Scarborough Man nonstop, and I just <laughs> love hearing that. When you see the kids that are here now, like, do you kind of see a bit of yourself in them? Yeah, absolutely. I had a lot of friends uh, from my elementary school that lived um, just at the buildings next to this, and, and they would be in the after school program. It's really cool what they do and, and how they give to the community and give uh, these kids opportunities. Oh! All right. Yeah, that was a good try. All right. Yeah. So Michael, how did you enjoy our day? A bit of a walk down memory lane for you. Yeah, showing off where I came from um, and ending off back in uh, the Boys and Girls Club is great. Um, it's fun to give back to my community anytime I can and to see these kids and smile on their faces, is, it makes it a little more special. Nice.